today I'm going to show you how to make a moving platform in Unity 3D. So I'm going to make the platform go over the lava. If you're wondering how I made the lava, check out my last video. Uh, so first I'm going to duplicate my ground. Uh, uh, the shortcut for duplicating is Ctrl D. I'm going to move it uh, here, right underneath that platform. I'm going to rename it to moving platform uh, and now um, let's first change the material I'm going to change it to green so green I'm just going to drag it um, now uh, for the box collider I'm gonna make it like a parent uh, in the code. We're gonna um, do is trigger like trigger uh, function. So so we need to. Uh, I'm just going to drag this up, and the bottom one is just going to be right above the game object right here. And I'm going to add another box collider. Um, box collider. Uh, and now let's add the um, script. I'm gonna call it moving flat platform one. Uh, actually, um, I'm going to go to scripts, go three, create new script. It's gonna load. Uh, I'm gonna double click to open it up in Visual Studio. After Visual Studio loads, I don't really need all this information, so I'm gonna delete it. You can keep it if you want. Um, here, I'm going to uh, create a variable. Uh, so, public game object. Player, and I'm going to just semicolon off of that. Enter private void on trigger. Enter here brackets and then a uh, collider other in the uh, brackets here. We have to write player dot tran transform dot parent equals transform semicolon right there. Code should look like. Uh, and now let's save this. Now to make the platform move, we need to animate it. To animate it, we have to first uh, wait for the wait for it to load. After it has loaded, we need to click on the object we're trying to animate. Um, and also before we do anything. We need to add the script moving platform one add that uh, and for the player here we need to drag in our player from our uh, game scene here uh, we need to go to window animation animation right here 
it's going to load this tab right here. And it'll click create. And go to where you saved your uh, project. Needs over here. We have to save it in our assets folder or else it's going to give us this error. So we have to go to assets. Here I'm going to rename this to We need to uh, first animate it. For to do that, we need to click this red button right here. Here, and we have to go to 30 and move it like this, right to that object right there. And now we have to move to uh, the one second mark. We have to select this keyframe right here and copy it. Control C and just paste it right here uh, so that it gives a smooth animation. Uh, now we can press the red button again to stop the animation to record. Here, when we play here, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I think we need to uh, tweak the box collider. Also, we need to, uh, the first box collider, which is uh, on top of the object, we need to uh, tick the is trigger option. And here, uh, I'm going to tweak it a little bit to be a little higher. Yep, that's enough. Uh, now, if we play, it it may look like uh, the ob the green object is moving a little too fast. To fix that, we need to. Uh, go uh, and select our green object and double click the animator controller right here and it's gonna open this right here we need to click on moving platform one or whatever you named it the one which comes out uh, from the entry and here we need to uh, set the speed to 0 0.2 that's what I'm going to set it to but you can uh, fiddle around with it and find what's best for your game. I'm going to click play. Now the, the platform would move much slower so that it's easier for the player to jump onto the uh, platform like that. Uh, oops, sorry. Like that. Oh, oops. Like that. Now we can jump on that platform. And there you have it. Uh, that's the tutorial for this video today. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.